just going to measure Lily's um, head circumference now. And we take three measurements, um, and it's round the widest circumference. So we're measuring from the occiput round to the frontal area. And we take the measuring here. It actually says read here on the lasso tape. And that's 43.2. I then release that and record again. And again, 43.3 this time. And then release and just record again. 43.2. So we take the measurement as 43.2 centimetres. And Kerry's just... Kelly's just helping us with this one now. <laughs> Thank you. That's lovely. Right. Edward, we're just going to take your head circumference now. I'm going to put a little tape on and show you what it looks like. It's a bit, little bit like a red Indian's head. Can you see like that? And it tells us how big your head is. It's got a little measure on the side there, like, like that. Can I put one on for you? So you can see what it's like as well, and we can measure how big your head is. You are very good at this. Fantastic, in fact. That's superb. Edward, your head circumference, 54.6 centimetres. OK, I'm just going to pop it on again. I'm going to release it and then just pop it on again. And take another one. There we go, that's number two. 54.6 again. And one last time. Last measure, 54.5. OK, so that's the last one of those three measurements. And your head circumference, Edward, is 54.6. If you're worried about a child's head circumference, for example, if a child's head circumference is growing in terms of hydrocephalus or microcephaly, then two measurements should be taken at regular intervals uh, within a four-week period. They should be recorded every two weeks. Any concerns, the patient should be referred. Obviously, if there are any concerns about a child's development, then a head circumference is part of a, a routine neurological examination. Can we see you plot the measurements on the chart? Yes, we use the UK90 centile charts, uh, which are available in all children's handheld records. I plot with a, a dot, a simple dot, and not a, any crosses or any joined up crosses. The recommended tapes that we use are the Child Growth Foundation lasso tapes. These are very good because they don't stretch and are very accurate for measuring the occipital frontal area. We usually take three measurements and take an average of those measurements. Mm -hmm.